we're leaving the heavy lifting to our kitchen crane. You'll need a kitchen cloth, cardboard, scissors, a bottle top, a pin, a barbecue skewer, super glue, string, an empty cup. Firstly, lay out a kitchen cloth to protect your workspace. Cut two cardboard circles about 10 centimeters in diameter. We've already cut ours out. Make a hole in the center of each of the cardboard circles. Then take the sharp end of a barbecue skewer and poke it through the holes to make them a little bigger. Next, make a hole in the bottle lid using a pin and then check the skewer fits through. If it doesn't, make a slightly bigger hole. Poke the barbecue skewer through the middle of one of the circles of card. Put a bit of glue on the top of the lid, slide it along the skewer, sticking it to the circle like this. Skewer on the second circle, sticking it to the other end of the bottle. Give it a while to dry. This is your crane. Now to make the basket for your crane. We've used an empty cup. Attach some string to your basket and then loop the other end of string around the bottle top. Spin it so it winds up most of the string. You'll need some height to really put your crane to work. We've used chairs, but you could also use books. Set up your crane and spin. Up comes your load. This spinning part of the crane is actually called the hoist. In real cranes, there's a motor that spins the hoist, not your hands. It makes light work of pulling up some really heavy materials to crazy heights. Check out how many cranes you can spot outside today. They're everywhere. Ever wondered how a lift works? Hoists are used in more than just cranes. They are hidden around us all the time. In lifts and hospitals to transfer patients from place to place. Even rescue helicopters use them to airlift patients in an emergency. Civil engineers design, construct and maintain buildings, bridges, roads, pretty much everything which needs a pulley to carry heavy loads. Music